747 now time for Sunday brunch joining us this morning Dominic Fedora with Bona Beef Dominic you're bringing some good aromas here to studio too. Good morning. Definitely. How are we doing today? Doing all right, my friend. Uh, so uh, Italian beef is something that I grew up with. My grandpa had his own recipe. My mom had her own recipe. Uh, and then I realized when I moved out of this area that Italian beef does not exist everywhere. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's local to Chicago. It's just a little delicacy coming from Chicago, Italian American immigrants. Yeah. And it's grown with Chicago's history of just creativity and innovation and just coming up with so many different food um, right. you know, delicacies. Right. So let's talk about how to make Italian beef. Of course, Bona Beef, one of the many options that we have in this in the city. Uh, and it's not exceptionally hard to make. You just need to have patience. Yes, exactly. It's all about the roasting process. We start with a lean cut of sirloin. We hand spice it with some Italian spices like salt, pepper, oregano. And then from there, we get a nice hot skillet and we pan sear every size of this roast. You could do a small pan roast, sear. a big roast. And then during this process, you want to get it nice and dark and crispy. This is going to create a caramelization that you're then going to reduce in yeah. the roasting process. All right. And then we put it in the oven. Yep. Low and slow, as they say. As long as possible. As long as possible. Overnight. But you need to have it kind of rare when you're when you're cooking it, right? So you take it out at what 145 or so? Yeah, you don't want it to be too dry. You still want it to be nice and juicy. Slice and then, it thin. Slice it thin, reduce the gravy, add a few more spices into it to create such a good stock, which you're then gonna add the beef right back in. And of course, one of the, the secrets is having the, the proper bread. You cannot put this on a hot dog bun. Yeah, so uh, at Bona, we get Toronto bread fresh every single day. Um, from there, you know, you just start building the beef. All right. Just like that. Uh, and then you have the peppers, you have your sweet, and you have your hot. Yep. Right? And then we also have a mild jardinera as well for those that don't want the kick in their, in their oil and their jardinera. So something uh, amazing happened. Like, this is a family-run business. You ship all over the place. And something happened uh, ever since this little Hulu show came out called The Bear. Yeah, right? definitely, The Bear. Uh, it's been putting a lot of attention towards our uh, beloved Italian beef, showing just the intricacies of the process, those small details, and just the passion and family that really goes around you know, running a restaurant and creating an Italian beef. And that's something that the Buono Volanto family has tried to do for uh, since 1981. The, has the family, after seeing the, uh, the series, going, oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty accurate. It looks pretty legit. Yeah, we're not <laughs> sure how it tastes. You know, I don't think anything yeah. can compare to this. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. Can I jump? You sure can jump. Can I jump in? All right, we're going to do the dip. Oh, we're going to do the dip. All right, this is what everybody wants to see. This is just what makes the Italian beef mm -hmm. truly Chicago. You get your nice packed beef right there. You're going to dump it in right there. People from Chicago, they want it dipped all the way. Okay. Oh. Yeah, and then it falls apart. Ooh. See, this is what, there you go. And that's how they like it right there. Just super juicy. A lot of gravy to soak in that bread right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, like to dip, I like to dip it myself. Not that much, though. Yeah. Um, and one thing that we talked about last time when you were on with Rainbow Cone is um, we're now talking about possibly starting franchises across the country, right? Definitely. Rainbow Cone has uh, started franchising. We actually just announced a opening that's slated for next summer in Sarasota and Naples, Florida. Uh, Bona Beef is soon to follow. You can pair both them up like we've been doing to locations across Chicago land in Mount Prospect, Darien, Skokie, Lakemore, and more to come for Bona Beef Raymo Cone uh, combos. All right, we need one that's not dipped. Okay, we're going to get I, you a nice not, one right here. I'm not going to... Nice and dry. I'm not going to be that sloppy right on the air. I, I, do like, I, I do like the Jew, though. I do like the Jew. Yeah, I like to get a little bit on the side so I could dip each bite fresh. That's right. Or pour a little bit on top. All right. I have a whole nother hour of this show to go, so if I get it all over me. All right, what do you like, hot or mild? Oh, we do we do the mild. Okay. Is this the hot? No, this is this is the hot peppers. That's this it. is the sweet sweet, sweet peppers. peppers right there. So, uh, what we're gonna do so here? So you putting the hot on? Yep, putting the hot on. <clears throat> Did I say hot? Yeah, you said mild, but. Oh, but we're gonna, we're gonna give gonna you the heat. Anyway. We're gonna give you the heat this right. morning. What's, Im <laughs> what's important about the jardinera right here is this oil right here. Some people like yeah. to get oil on the side. Yeah. Pour it on top right there. So we're gonna. Oh well, why don't why don't we put some beef with our jardinera? <laughs> the other way around. Well, we did do something like that. We stuffed it in between a rice ball and made an arancini. Hey, uh, by the way, Gator, 
you're going to have to do the rest of the show on your own because I'm not sure. I'll be rendered speechless. Oh, oh you're going for it? <laughs> yeah, why not? You're going friend? for it. There we go. Why not? We're going we're gonna to dip it. Oh, you're going to dip it? Oh, yeah, straight dip fresh. It a little bit. Yeah, there people go. argue over the beef. you got to be the first one to make the beef so you why get all the gravy. Why don't we have any music going on with this? We need some, like, Some Frank Italian. Some... Ital yeah, exactly. Frank mm. Sinatra. Set the mood. Not all right. Mm. <laughs> I got it over me anyway. In a mound. One other Chicago classic. Yeah. Got a little charbroiled Italian sausage right here. Oh, this is my combo. favorite. This is a combo. Okay. You got to yeah. load that beef right there. Get a little more beef on top. This is a big bite. Okay. It's it's, it's spicy. There it's we go. Spicy. Man, I tell you what, my Italian grandfather is never impressed with my inability to handle the heat. Bona, of course, uh, located all over the Chicago area. You can also catch them at all Northwestern home football games, and you can order Italian beef sandwich kits, which I've done for friends around the country. You can find that on their website. <laughs> the buzz is next. Wow, that is spicy. Yeah, Thank you.